everybody, what's up? So this is the first time ever. I've never done anything on The Walking Dead, probably because it's my favorite TV show, and I've never wanted anything to get in the way of that. I like to come home from work and just chill and watch The Walking Dead. It's a real getaway for me. But after the first half of this season, the loss of so many mainstays, I feel compelled to talk about this mid-season finale and to watch and discuss the mid-season trailer, which I missed last night. Anyways, guys, depending on where you might be on Walking Dead, if you have not seen the conclusion to the season 9 mid-season finale here, I suggest leaving now. There's going to be large spoilers ahead. Okay, that being said, <laughs> yo, what the hell, Walking Dead? Last night was such a shocking episode. What happened? Is Jesus dead? That's the big question. And unfortunately, I hate to bring you this news, but yes. The actor Tom Payne, who's been playing Jesus since season 6, has confirmed he's through with the show and happy about it, saying he has been frustrated with the direction of his character for years now. If familiar with the comics, you'll know Jesus is the most fierce baddie of all of them and has taken out tons of whisperers, only in this iteration to be taken out just by some random whisperer. Somehow, to me, just doesn't do him justice. I agree with Payne, though. His character has been neglected, but with the exit of Rick and Maggie, I really felt... I, I could have seen him just stepping up, you know, and to the front of the series, not down. It's a bummer, but let's try not to be too sad for too long, because no matter what, the series always seems to overcome all of its losses, and we have a mid-season trailer to check out, and I don't want to wait any longer. So here it is, the Season 9 Walking Dead mid-season trailer. Oh, this don't look good. Maybe that would have happened. Yeah, anyway. they made it though. But now we know. Jesus didn't. Know. There's a new enemy. You die now. Anyway, they didn't. Oh, that's what the creepy. Us and them. You're watching. We don't belong with these people. Oh, who was Daryl? Who is this? could be our last chance. What does it mean for Alexandria to survive if the kingdom falls? It means oh. Alexandria survives. Oh. They're all gonna have it rough. <laughs> oh, sweet. oh my god. That looks creepy as hell. We get a glimpse of Lydia, zombied out. My guess, that's also her talking to Daryl in the cell. If you don't know the comics, Lydia is the daughter of Alpha, the leader of the Whisperers. Of course, in the comics, it was Rick who had to deal with Alpha, but it looks like this version is going to be dealing with Daryl. But my favorite part of this trailer is when we see Beta for the first time, and he looks beast. It looks like Daryl is going to have his hands full this season. And of course, the one thing I kind of actually expected here. After watching their security measures with Negan, how many times did we see them just open the door for him? But he finally got his opportunity and just walked right out. But the thing, my big question at least is, will Negan be the villain in Season 9 this time around? or an actual savior. After spending six years in that cell, they've shown him getting to know the members of the group. Well, I guess that's all questions we're gonna have until Walking Dead returns February 10th. Until then, guys, thanks for stopping by the quest. If you have any comments to add, just hit me up below, and don't forget to subscribe right here and join the quest.